Howdy y'all, this is Tony with Lone Star Coops and today we're going to be going over a inexpensive chick playpen you can build to give them a little extra security while you take them outside to stretch their legs and wings. Lone Star Coops Even at one week old, it's natural for your chicks to want to forage in the ground, take a dust bath, stretch their wings out for a quick little hop flight. If you are keeping your chicks indoors in a tiny brooder, a chick crib might be just the sort of thing that you need. This small pen is not predator proof. It is just predator resistant. So personally, I only use it under supervision. However, if you have a predator proof coop, it is small and light enough that you could easily put it inside there and leave them in there without having to watch them. The other thing worth mentioning is making sure that your outside temperatures are warm enough for your chicks. Their first week they need to be kept around 95 degrees and then 5 degrees down per week after that. So make sure your temperatures outside are close to that or if it is a little chillier than that don't keep them out there very long. We only use three types of elbows and tees for this build. There are eight 10 foot sections of three quarter inch PVC and one 25 foot roll of three foot chicken wire. The vertical PVC pieces have been cut to 14 inches, which makes our total wall height about 18 inches. The reason I kept it at that height is we can take the three foot wide roll of chicken wire and cut it down the middle for our walls and that way we minimize the use of chicken wire and with the little chicks they don't really need a whole lot of vertical height anyways. We're assembling the lid here and the end piece that is in my hand is cut to 33 inches that gives us an overall width of 36 inches. And then the long pieces down the side of the lid and the side of the pin are cut to three feet each, which makes the total length, I think it was about 75 inches when you add in the elbows. Once you have your chicken wire cut, you'll want to secure it with zip ties about every six inches. Now you can choose to secure the lid with some twist ties or rope. I'm just keeping mine loose because right now I'm only keeping them outside under supervision. I will be moving this pin into my secure chicken coop and have that be their grow out pin so they can get accustomed to the full grown hens. And at that point I will be securely fastening the lid to the pin. Remember that chicken wire is not predator proof. This should only be used under supervision. These chicks can stick their head through the holes in the chicken wire and a cat could easily stick his paw through and snag one of them also. With the dimensions this chick crib is built at, it is small and light enough to tilt on its side and move into a full-size chicken coop. You can use it as a grow-out pin. Just attach that lid and slide it up underneath your hen house to get it out of the way. I hope this video gave you some ideas about what you can do for your chicks. Let us know what you did. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Thank you.